Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Box and another open with me. And as you can see, this one is a Simply Knitting. So we've got quite a bit in here. A bumper gift pack. Extra bookazine plus handy kit pouch, which must be this. Newsstand exclusive. Exciting new knits for autumn. A whopping 68 patterns inside. Handmade home makes and handmade home makes yeah i guess and it's cozy time for accessories fun for kids um lots and lots of bits pretty poppy flower fairy oh that's quite sweet um your bumper gift bundle so let's crack in shall we the bumper gift pack's meant to be worth 7.99 so let's get inside and while i'm trying to find a way in if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and hopefully you'll get informed when new videos pop up now um let's move that one thing that i've um been asked to do recently but, oh here we go there's a little pouch wow that's the one that was on the front cover it's shaped like a jubbly <laughs> um i guess people around the world may not know what a jubbly is but if you're from the UK, then you do. Anyway, we'll get to the gifts in a minute. Here's the magazine. Um, people have asked me that if I would um, sell some of my uh, magazines that I do the Open With Me's on my website, which I have been thinking of doing. Um, now, obviously, they do weigh something. So um, it's not good. It's not going to be like as um, as cheap as you think. I mean, oh, heck. What can I say? Um, I won't be selling them at a massive profit or anything like that, but obviously they have some weight in them. But while you're buying yarn or whatever you're purchasing, then you can surely pop one in and it is a way of getting them that's not going to be as expensive as buying them from the actual place that I, you know, that send them to you and subscribing, etc. Made a mess of that, but never mind. I got there in the end. That I will be putting some up when I can figure it out, and I've got to weigh them and everything else. So anyway, this is the magazine, Simply Knitting. I know I've quite liked this when I've um, reviewed Simply Knitting. And the Knitter's Year is the other bookazine that's inside, and it is quite book size. So we'll put that aside, and the free gift pouch, jubbly, and we'll have a look at the magazine. Okay, so we've got Simply Knitting, exciting new knits for autumn, handmade home makes, it's cosy time for accessories, fun for kids, pretty poppy, flower fairy, which did try to trip me up then, mini savings and mini makes, so we've got slippers, um, hand mittens, <laughs> hand mittens, well I don't get mittens anywhere else, and a rainbow revolution multicoloured cowl set that looks very nice. Now, that looks very kind of similar yarn to what I've just been making myself a wrap with. But um, maybe we'll have a look, see what it's made with. So this is the um, contents page. We've got a, a, a pullover there with a cable sleeve and a little cable in the uh, band, which is quite nice. <clears throat> We've got another one, with, again, with some decoration going up the middle and the side. We've got a man's kind of waistcoat we've got the poppy we've got slippers um something that looks probably like me when i was a young kid because i had that kind of that boring chair but you know what i mean um a tea cozy that's a lighthouse like it's quite cool we've got a, a, a kiddies jumper by the looks of things another pullover we've got the set that does actually look crocheted although it's not and what I would call, when I was a child, slipper bag, because we always had to have those at school for our slippers. So the Knitter's Year is a handy, and the Handy Knit Pouch is the free gift, and that's a page that kind of advertises that. And we've got Wish List. This is Rainbow Recycle. Rainbow Recycle. Shoppers, shopping events, inspiration, people and views. So this is my, Meet Our Latest Crush, the Terrazzo Tile Jumper by Chloe Elizabeth Birch. That's quite pretty. 
Okay, so what have we got? Anything that immediately grabs me. We've got some nice, beautiful yarn here. Rico Superba Twirl, which is a sock yarn, obviously. And they're all quite small, these editorials. So we'll move on and advert. Okay, so this is Rock the Red. Autumn arrived and there's a must-knit jumper which combines pretty leaf cable and rich scarlet hue by Elizabeth, Chloe Elizabeth Birch, sorry. And it's in sizes small to 2XL. I quite like this. I think that's ingenious. It's not just ribbed. It's actually got a little cable twist going up it. I like that a lot. That's very nice. So there's lots and lots, obviously, um, in, to, in that one. So this is the rainbow yarn that I was talking about because it looks quite glitz. Sophie Jordan's rainbow slouch hat and cowl set with anything. You can wear it with anything, sorry. It certainly adds a vibrant twist to your winter days out. All the colours. So this is very pretty. And you can see that it is actually knitted there. Okay, that's nice. So they've used um, Sheep is Terrazzo DK. And there's a chart. Always love a chart. Got to love the charts. Stay in touch. This is Show Us Yours and stuff. There's always those in these magazines, isn't there? Hocus Pocus. So when I said that looks like me as a child, obviously I'm not a witch. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not. But um, I didn't kind of think about her when I said it. So here we got the charts as well and how to do this over the next few pages. Get a sheepy's colour pack when you subscribe worth $35.95. And there are your ways to subscribe should you wish to do it. I'll hold it there for you if you quite fancy it. And there's also, if you have this magazine, there's a, a thing to fill in if you want to subscribe. So this is the pretty... Poppy, a flower fairy. That is really cute. I do like that. How small must those legs be, though? Oh, that is cute. I do like that. That's nice. And there's lots of how-to bits. And, oh, good, that goes on quite a long way, doesn't it? So this is a light touch. Superwash Merino floods this muted jumper by Sean Brown, delivering a timeless, easy-to-wear garment you'll love slipping on. So it looks nice and I do like this sort of thing, but I can't wear them. They're just too warm for me. I'm not, I can't do that. I can't, I can't be hot. But there's all the stuff. Our twos. Um, there's a bit of an editorial. They're bringing it back to basics. Um, sort of talking to somebody called Kath Garner about her after her cancer treatment. Ah, so we've got... Bags of fun, back to school essentials. So it's like a little school bag. Some schools are very picky though. They don't let you have stuff like that. They make you have black or something. Community nitty. So bits and bobs in the, around the country. Keeping it cosy. Trendy tweed effect. Treat your needles to a snugly quick knit gillette in cosy broken rib. A variegated yarn adds oodles of rustic chic by Pat Mencini. Quite like that yarn, I have to say. It is Rico Creative Melange in DK. There it is, close up. It is kind of a rustic rib. I like it, not keen on the collar though. I'm not a big fan on collars. Out and about. Okay, so these are what you can look forward to around the country. I don't like the pink and white background. I find that hard to see. Ammonite yarns, shawls, the drapers, marina's wool and haberdashery and woolly wumpkins. Those are shops, I guess, um, to look out for around the country. I would have loved to have gone when I went to Coolmore. I'd love to have gone to a, a shop, a yarn shop. We did go to a market and see somebody that I was recommended to. And I did make a purchase, but we just didn't have time. We didn't have that many days. So unfortunately, you couldn't do it. This is cute as can be. It's got a B on the front. And it's from Rowan. So that's pretty, isn't it? Um, 
the yarn is probably quite expensive being uh, rowan yarn can be quite expensive but if you wanted to make this there is a chart for the bee if you wanted to make the bee and something else or crochet the bee you can always do that and there's all of the how to do's paint swatch utilize your scraps with this simple wrist warmers by sophie jordan they are very simple they look so easy a beginner could do them they're nice and plain so we've got top 10 top tips for eco knitting it's a bit much to read out so we won't get into that and let it shine i do like this we've got the usual um adverts on the other page but um that is a really cute tea um, um cozy that's the word i was a teapot warmer <laughs> i like the back as well that's pretty cool look at all the detail that is snazzy quite an unusual looking one so what's this then lend a hand cast on your fun copyright free pattern for items you can knit and sell and discover a passion for fundraising with our charity focus so this is a cozy fake cable cowl it's quite nice little uh, little make and we've got some how-to pages those socks are jolly snazzy look at those wow i like those i'd i'd love those but somebody needs to knit them for me because you know what mm, i'm not i've never knitted socks and i don't know if i'm good enough but um having never tried but i like those a lot so if there's anybody out there who wants to take pity on me this is Ma mastering mosaic and it's um, by Jasmine Pickford Watford. That's a mouthful for you. I like them. Breezy days. Make wash day Monday more enjoyable with this cute laundry bag. And it's fun in Tarsia design. Okay, so it's a laundry bag. Hangs on the back of the door to put your laundry in. See, when I look at this, this is the design of slipper bags when I was at school. We all used to have to keep our PE kits and plimsolls in them. So that when I look at that, it just says, I am a, a, a slipper bag. It's not, obviously. Softly does it. We've got some yarn reviews. We've got 100% soft merino. Um, where is it? Who's it by? Can't figure it out. Doesn't say. And we've got Macintosh fluff. Oh, wool couture, sorry. Rico Luxury Super 100 Super Fine Wool. A big mouthful for probably a 50 gram ball of yarn. Starcraft Grace. Stitch and Story The Little Merino. And Sheepy Super Chunky by Banat. So a bit of a review on all of those. And the take a break bit where you get... The, I love this when they do the little Sudokus. And they don't do that in the crochet magazines. Even in the Simply Crochet. And I think they should, because I love that page. Isn't that amazing? This is nice. Now, I really like this. And I've just ordered some yarn, which will blow your socks off when it arrives. Um, wait, I can't say it anymore. But when I look at this, what I've ordered actually shouts at me. Make me, make me with that yarn you bought. Whether I will. I don't know, because I've never knitted a shawl. I've only ever crocheted them. It's whip up a shawl that's guaranteed to keep you warm this winter using variegated yarn in the deepest, darkest hues by hobby. But this one that I've ordered is not by hobby, not in the slightest. Okay, Mr. Nishu, you can get them just for you. Little um, win and um, bits and bobs you can get and win. This is the Sweet Dreams, and this is pretty. I like that, but I'm not keen on the sleeves being so puffy. Although, don't you think it looks weird because they look kind of smaller at the top than they do at the bottom? Probably not. It might just be the model being thin. I don't know. But I'd have to make it longer as well if I were to do it. Not that I would because I don't think I could cope with a polar neck around my neck that tight. Okay, let's move on. So we've got all of the sizes. Who made this? Let's see. Does it say Sophie Jordan? No, that's the deputy. Uh, does it say? Oh, Joe Allport made this one. So 
so that's over a few pages this is the usa offer so if you did want to do that this is it would you would save 70 percent apparently um on the store price so you would get 59.95 for 13 issues and it would normally be 170 97 dollars sorry i'm a bit dyslexic when i see figures um free delivery so there you go if you wanted to get this one it's all in the price we've got step-by-step -step bits how to do yarn stravaganza now i've seen this advertised and i would like to go to something i really would um many of my suppliers are there i have to say and one that i would like to get but whenever i try i hit a big kind of you know eh -eh. Yarn Stravaganza is a nationwide celebration of our wonderful independent yarn shops. And not let's not forget us online independent yarn shops at www.hobbyvox.co.uk. Just saying. There will be fun events, limited editions, goodies and a lot of surprises for knitters and crocheters. Find an event near you at www.ukhandleyknitting.com. Hmm. Okay. Maybe. This is the slippers. Sorry. Moved on too quickly. So Simply Christmas. Okay. There was something very similar to this in the Simply Crochet Christmas last year. Or was it Simply Christmas? Wasn't that impressed, I don't think. Maybe this year will be different. Let's hope. How to knit pages. We've got lots of those, I feel. Oh, no, maybe not. And sewing up. Abbreviations and useful info bits. In the next issue, we've got a snowman pullover and we've got an elf, which you can put on your shelf if you want. We've got a nativity, which we just had in uh, one of the magazines. Heads above, we've got this weird hat. Um, I have keep saying I'm going to make one of these square hats one of these days, but I never have. So that's the mag. This is the jubbly. <laughs> Don't understand um so when it's puffed out it's going to be kind of all different shapes isn't it um it's really really odd isn't it the way they've but if you do this then it it kind of looks sane but obviously what would you keep in it let's see what they say in the knitters year four seasons of fabulous knits a sunny cushion, and that's unusual. Be inspired for a simply gorgeous collection. Cozy in winter, sweet for spring, bright in summer, snug for autumn. And we've got a satchel. We've got boot toppers, cushion, socks, and a baby. I don't think you make the baby, but there's probably some gorgeous baby stuff. So let's go and have a look at this bookazine. Okay, so straight away, there's a really nice pullover. Um, it's actually three quarters length sleeves, so my kind of pullover, I have to say. And I like this, I do. It's quite busy, but I like it. And got a, is that a bag? Makeup bag, perhaps. Uh, lots and lots of stuff. So let's, oh, tea, coffee and sugar pots. You can put your little thing. Now that would actually come in handy because I don't have anything on mine mine have got bumblebees on and i just have to remember that the one with the big b is biscuit tea the one of many bees is jam and toast tea and the one that's just a few bees is gary's earl grey <laughs> that's how i remember it it's the only way let's move on enough about my tea so you can get three issues for five pounds for simply crochet if you're interested this is the offer it's always good to get that you know uh, this is the spring so we're starting with spring we've got bright colors we've got a nice thin cardigan if i do wear knits it tends to be thin ones time to shine knit in size 8 to 20 that's uk size 8 is um very small i would say extra small and 20 would be in x xl i guess xl would be six 18 16 to 18 and yeah so i think i'm right this is nice pretty it's eyelet, eyelet pattern 
and a touch of sparkle. Um, that's fine as long as you've got nothing that's going to catch these eyelet kind of patterns, like little fingers or cat's claws or dog's claws. I, can, I had a, a quite a nice fashionable pullover once that I wore here and it was a apricot kind of peachy colour. Uh, the first day I wore it, Gary's mum's dog made a great big gladder in it. Um, I wasn't pleased, but I just thought, oh, well, that's another reason I don't wear pullovers. So this is Soft Touch Monica Russell's Pretty Lace Cow, Sweetest Spring Stash Buster. Seems weird talking about spring now, doesn't it? Little Blossom. Um, I'm not sure if all of these are going to be in here, but that is very nice. It fits newborn to two years. It must be in here. Made simple shapes with sweet details and texture. Berger de France little tunic. Oh, it is. It's there, look, on those pages. Oh, leafy green. We've got this little kind of bag, pouch. Keep your pennies safe. It's a purse, which is not to be confused with a bag over in America, which they call a purse. So you would call that a pot. A wallet. Oh, I get confused between what a purse is, a pocketbook, and all that. You know, to us, the thing you carry stuff in is a bag, and the thing you carry your money in is a purse. So much easier. Anyway, I digress. Leafy green. Keep your pennies safe while you're saving for a new yarn in this retro style purse by Mary Henderson. To come, and we've got treat your feet. Soft Green Slippers by Monica Russell. Now, they're very nice. And I, I, there's been a few different pairs of slippers so far. But I always feel that unless they've got that rubberized bottom, you're going to slip something over something, as my mother would say. Um, let's see if I can say this. Get, let you know what her saying was without saying the words. Um, a part of your anatomy that rhymes with pass over another part of your anatomy that remi that rhymes with fit. <laughs> yeah, that was my mum's favourites. <laughs> One of them, anyway. Buttercream. Oh, I like this. Kind of a lampshade. I always worry about um, yarn and heat, but that does look nice because you can do it around an ordinary pale lampshade. And this transformer plain lampshade with this beautiful fan, lace, fan stitch lace cover by Sarah Dennis. That's actually nice. I like that. Easy living. I don't look easy to me. <laughs> Just saying. That's on a few pages. Oh, let's see. Who said that? Monica Russell has designed that one. Nice though. Retro Revival. This is a cushion by Louise Smith. 60s inspired cushion in cream and gold. Stargazer. Now that's pretty. And it's Amanda Jones who's made this, I would say, cowl. Yes, cowl. And there's more kind of detail. Pretty, I like that. And we've got, this is called Dandelion. Brighten up your spring wardrobe with this sunny yellow stocking stitch cardigan by Faye Perriam. That's the cardigan that was on the front. So we've got another cardi. This is a summer one. Ooh, is it... Um, what they call that now looks well, it might be a cardigan but it just the way that this went rounded it reminded me of a bolero bolero pretty lace knits and simple relaxed design for balmy nights and lazy beach days um oh okay top tips for summer knitting there's a bit of editorial stuff so this is called coral reef now if you went a little bit longer that'd be a dress wouldn't it that's nice i like that pat mencini's sweater but like i said it could be a dress if you didn't have all those nasty lumps and bumps like i had that you wouldn't want to show off freshen up knit a wash bag by sarah dennis you'd have to line that wouldn't you so basically if you've got a really grubby one that you don't like anymore you could just knit around it you know like use it as a inside just saying as the inside was rubbish of course so three issues of Simply Knitting, there's your offer for £5 if you fancy giving it a go. Ocean Waves, give your summer look 
the perfect finishing touch with Emma Vining's stylish scarf. That's very different, is the word. I like this cushion though. Although, you'd have to stuff that yourself, wouldn't you? Because there is not <laughs> a blank cushion anywhere on this planet that's that shape. So you just have to get lots of stuff in and make it. That's weird, isn't it? I like it though. Jane Burns Bright and Beautiful Sunflower Cushion. Very nice. Oh, look how cute that is. And that little sausage in that. Your cute little one. I didn't say cute, but I just added that. Will look absolutely adorable in Jane Burns Baby Pirate Outfit. Look at this little pirate outfit. Look, it's so cute. And they've got some charts that might come in handy. Oh, wow. Tropical Breeze. Now, that is kind of lopsided. I don't do well with lopsided things. You like them to be symmetrical, and it's kind of jarring my head a little bit. But it's nice. Joe, all port stylish lace and garter stitch top. Clever sideways element. It might be clever, but it makes it wonky, and I can't deal with wonkiness. So we'll move on. I'm sure there are people who love that. Well, this is a lovely key ring. I might have a go at these. Strawberries by Monica Russell. <laughs> Keep my hand in with my knitting. So these are the little things that go around your pot, but it would hide my uh, bumblebees. So although it is a good idea, and but you have got, if you wanted to crochet, you've got a little template. Mint julep, Monica Russell's lacy shrug. It was a shrug. I thought it might be. Um, or a bolero, bolero shrug. They're all the same thing, I think. That's quite pretty though. I like the colour. There's all the how to do bit. We've got the summer blues. This is a satchel. Classic school satchel by Jane Burns. And there's her chart. For autumn... Ooh, we've got a nice hat. Dot to dot. So really, what's the difference between making that for autumn or making it for spring? You just change the colours up, couldn't you really? Maybe if you wanted to the fibre. What else? Little puppet. Amanda Jones' bonnet will keep tiny ears warm on the chilliest days. Do we get another view of it? No. And we've got the falling leaves boot topper and the honeycomb cushion um Kirsty McLeod made the, the lace toppers and Sarah Dennis the honeycomb cushion and this is the hat burnt sienna by woolly wo wormhead woolly wormhead okay autumn days knitting a cozy merino Monica Russell's classic striped jumper is sure to be an instant hit so lots and lots of patterns in this. Wow, a sea princess mermaid. I know a few people who would like that. That's by Sarah Dennis. And these little tiny toes, look at that. Isn't that cute? Amanda Jones, teeny weeny fair isle booties. We've got happy feet again with, with some uh, leg warmers. I do have some crochet leg warmers on my channel. That don't look crocheted. They look knitted, but they're not. Blue Monday hat by Sarah Dennis. And we've got the crisscross um, wrist warmers. It's actually written before me and I couldn't remember the name. All I had to do was read it. And that's by Monica Russell. Whirly Bird. Now, I do like this, this pullover. Again, I would wear that. I'd have to come down a little bit lower to hide the evil belly. But um, I do like it. Yeah, Pat Mancini's Knit. Very nice, very nice. Again, I think I'd need some kind soul to make it for me though. Try three issues for three pound of Molly makes. My advice to you is don't, even at that price. Um, did review it. You can go back and watch my reviews on the Molly makes if you want to. If you want, to, if you're thinking of investing, then by all means do a little search on my playlist on my Open With Me playlist for the Molly Makes, and you will soon get over it. Okay, winter time. 10 top tips for winter knitting. Oh, wow. <laughs> I 
Last year, I did have a, a Christmas jumper that had two puddings strategically placed. It was a T-shirt, I think. I'm kind of, a, like I say, not a particularly pull over -y type person, but that's from uh, Make This Very Own Christmas Must Have with this funky instant pudding sweater from Wendy. So, Wendy Wools. Wow. I like it. There's all the how-to-do bits. So, these are little candles. They do look like terracotta pots, though, don't they? They say mini festive pots, but they do look like just little terracotta plant pots sort of thing. Get these little... Got the charts for them. Colour theory. Oh, hang on. And around a teacup, too. Look. Monica Russell's Dazzling Cow mixes and matches a variety of fair oil motifs. I didn't kind of get who did those. Julie, Juliet Bernard's. Sorry. I feel like if I left her out, it would not be nice. I've probably left a few out in my enthusiasm to get going. Um, There it is again in its entirety. Goodie bag. It's a Christmas stocking. It's not It's a giant Christmas stocking, but Sarah Dennis. Someone will be in for a big surprise when they spot this super-sized stocking. They would indeed. Wintergreen. Hat by Kirsty MacLeod. Amethyst. This elegant wrap by Monica Russell. Sorry if you can hear the guns going off. We're not at war. It's just um, across the water they do test munitions and explode unexploded munitions. Sometimes it makes the house shake. Well, all the time it does, actually. So we've got some Christmas baubles. Deck the Halls with Sarah Dennis. Did I tell you who that one was? Kirsty McLeod's hat. Monica Russell's scarf, wrap. They always call it something that I think it's the opposite. I think it's a scarf, they call it a wrap. Counting sheep, pay homage to our fleecy friends and stay cosy with Monica Russell's hot water bottle cover. That's kind of cute. First frost, two color fair oil motifs, Mary Henderson's cushion. It's quite pretty, isn't it? Very busy. Reminds me of Delft pottery. Softly, softly, we've got some uh, socks by Belinda Harris Reed. Meadow Frost, that could match the hat earlier on. This is Faye Perriam. And there's all the chart for that. Counting down. So we could knit a little advent calendar that's kind of put over the walls as decoration quite nice. Yeah, good idea. How to knit stuff and all the same abbreviations as we had before in the magazine anyway. So there, what do you think? Do you like it? I, I have to say I do like Simply Knitting um, as a magazine. I, I do, I like the way it's set out. I like the fact that they have the puzzles in it and it's a little bit more of a magazine-y type feel than just looking at crochet stuff and knitted stuff. It's got that more magazine-y feel. I'm not really sure what the heck I would do with this um, thing. It, it, its shape is a little jarring. I don't get it, but oh well. Um, we could put something in there. It's got birdies on it. Oh, tweety, tweety things. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Take care. Tell me what you think of it. Do you like it? What do you like best? And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.